Let's all drink chocolate milk for diversity. Hey, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to tell you about a silly news article that's come out today. It involves uh, Governor Rauner of Illinois. And uh, the headline, here, I'll just give you the headline. Governor Rauner drinks chocolate milk to demonstrate his commitment to diversity. That was in the Chicago Tribune. Now, here's why that's so ridiculous. I understand what they're trying to say, right? This old white guy governor, somehow by drinking chocolate milk, he's showing diversity. Isn't that silly? Isn't he a moron? Right? That's, that's the implication. And there's lots of headlines like this on uh, Newsweek. Watch Illinois governor drinks chocolate milk to show diversity is really good. So there was an event downtown Chicago, and one of the people giving a demonstration was Tyrone Stoudemire, and he was with the Hyatt Hotels. He is their diversity and inclusion executive, and he was giving a demonstration about diversity. This whole thing was to promote diversity in the workplace, and it was also part of Black History Month, and the governor was in attendance. And uh, what Mr. Stoudemire did is he asked the governor, hey, I need an assistant. Can you come on up here? And the governor walked up and stood by him. And he gave this kind of corny demonstration about how in Fortune 500 companies, uh, they're mostly white. And so he, he poured milk into a glass. And he says, but this chocolate syrup represents diversity. And he's like, and you, you pour it. And if it's just at the bottom, it doesn't do any good. You got to mix it up. And when you mix up diversity in your organization, hey, you, you make something great like chocolate milk. And uh, the governor took a sip of it and he said, uh, oh, it's good. You know, diversity's good. And I don't think that anyone could have an issue with this. How could this be a problem, right? The guy's going along with the demonstration and he's saying diversity is good. Now, is this a corny demonstration? Yeah, but the governor had nothing to do with this. He was just asked to be a part of it. He was like, hey, can you be my assistant? Um, but somehow we're going to mock him out, right? We're going to, we're just going to make fun of him for being part of this. Well, let's look at it from the other point of view. What if uh, Mr. Stoudemire asked the governor, hey, can you be part of my diversity demonstration? And he said, no. He'd be like, oh my God, this old white guy governor uh, doesn't want to be part of a diversity demonstration by a black man, right? That would be horrible, right? He would get totally strung up in the press for doing that. Um, he was being a good sport. He went along with the dumb demonstration. He had nothing to do with it. And yet the media is going to mock him out uh, for this corny demonstration. And that's, it's silly. And it's really disingenuous, in my opinion. In fact, it brings up some questions about, you know, what really is diversity? And I'm not going to give you my opinion on it. I'm just going to say, what is diversity? For example, let's say there was an organization and you had uh, five guys on the board and they were all 60. Every single one of them was 60 years old. Every single one of them was straight, was married, had two kids. Every single one of these guys uh, went to the same fraternity Every single one of these guys has an MBA. They all golf together and they all go shooting at the same rifle club. You would think that's not diverse at all. That's terrible. But, you know, what if one of these guys was white, one was black, one was Asian, one was Hispanic, uh, one was Persian, right? You, you would think, oh, well, in that case, this is totally diverse. I mean, it doesn't have any women. But in this case, wow, look at all this diversity that we have. And I would argue that five guys that are all the same age that, you know, and let's just say they all go to the same church. They're all, uh, you know, good upstanding members in the local Baptist church. And they all go to the same golf club. They all went to the same fraternity and they all have MBAs. To me, that's not really diverse. It's racially diverse, but it's, is it diverse? Hmm. Uh, and you could have another group where you could have five guys that all looked identical, but uh, one was an atheist, one was a Catholic, one was Jewish, 
one was a Muslim, one was a Buddhist, they would all look the same, but would that be diverse? Well, it would be religiously diverse, but ethnically not diverse at all. And that's one of the things that comes up when we talk about diversity. What, what do we really mean? Are we just looking at what people look like? Or are we looking at their life experience and their character and their values or their ideas? It's a complicated topic. And I don't have the answers to that. But it's something that I thought about today. So tell me what you think. Do you think the governor was out of bounds for going along with the demonstration? Do you think the demonstration itself was corny? Let me know in the comments. I look forward to reading what you have to say. Peace. You can help me reach my goal of 500 subscribers by clicking the like button and subscribing. Thanks.